Hello booktube, it's Andrea and I'm going to do what I said I wasn't going to do. So if you saw the video I posted yesterday which was my extremely late June wrap up, I said that I wasn't going to do booktube a -thon. And then I started watching everybody's TBRs and I thought I really want to take part. So I know I'm not going to have time to take part in the video challenges and the Instagram challenges because I am on a 10 to 6 shift so I just won't have the time. But I, I mean. By the time I get up and get into work and then get home and have dinner and washed up, it's, uh, I'm just ready for bed. However, I will be doing the reading challenges and because I think if you're going to do it, you might as well try and do all seven. I'm going to try and do all seven challenges. So the first challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover and for that one I have picked The Asylum by John Harwood. I saw this book on Missy the Binge Reader's channel and had to get it and it's about a girl who wakes up in an asylum. Don't know anything about it. It's spooky. I like spooky. So that is my first challenge. Challenge number two is to read a hyped book. So for that I'm going to read Caraval by Stephanie Garber. This came out I think at the beginning of the year and everybody was talking about it. They either loved it or hate it and it's been sitting on my TBR since then so I thought oh, I can take this to work. I can read it in my lunch breaks. Um, so Yes, we all know what that's about, so I'm not going to go ahead and talk about it at this moment. You'll learn more in the wrap-up. The third challenge is to read a book in one day. Now, this is where I get crafty, and I'm going to read a play. I'm going to read Peter and Alice by John Logan. I saw this on Jen Campbell's channel. This is only 70 pages long, so it's really short. Now, just so that you know, Asylum is 257 pages and Caraval is 402. This one's 70. So I can read that in an afternoon or an evening and then quickly go on to one of the other books. Okay, so read about a character that is completely different from yourself. Well, I'm going to read uh, James Elroy's The Black Dahlia. So this is different for me because A, it's in Los Angeles. Two, okay, so The Black Dahlia, Elizabeth Short is a woman but she's murdered, and I've not been murdered, I'm still alive, and the cops, well, they're men, and I'm also not a cop. And it's also set in the 40s. So why not? So I've had this one for a while, been looking forward to reading this, I'm really fascinated with the, the story of Elizabeth Short. Number five, read a book completely out of doors, and for that I'm going to read my Terry Pratchett book of the month, Weird Sisters, yay. Now, Black Dahlia is 383 pages long, Weird Sisters is 251 pages. Now this one will actually depend on whether or not I can get outside because it's the UK. Six is read a book that you bought because the cover, Alwyn Sands is Rebel um, of the Sands, Alwyn's Hamilton, and read seven books, You Are Dead by Peter James which came out of the TBR jar. I'm rushing because my battery's about to go. So that's seven days, seven books, and 2,220 pages. So, let's see if we can do it. Bring it on, Booktube. It's time for Booktubeathon 2017. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye.